hello and welcome to this awesome project in this project we're going to build an app for airline booking demand forecasting and dynamic pricing optimization so let me demonstrate this project for you to see how it is done you can read the problem statement which i have given on the screen over here we have several variables which we are going to base on to make price optimization if you read the problem statement that i've given on the screen you'll understand what problem we are trying to solve okay so many customers with different situations will want to book a flight right and then what we want to do is that we want to give them different pricing based on their circumstances surrounding the time that they are booking the airline okay so we have several scenarios or conditions over here which users can select and then based on that we simulate the different customers okay we have different customers and then we're going to forecast pricing for each of the customers so we're not going to have a fixed price on our page for users our pricing is going to be very dynamic dynamic i mean which we're going to allow users to use to book the flight but we're going to base on the user's condition to provide them with a price that they can use to book the flight okay and then we are forecasting the number of bookings that are going to happen right the price that they're going to pay for different customers with different scenarios based on what they sell it and then we have the distribution and the demand over time as well. So let me walk you through step by step so that you know what is going on here. So we have departure airport and then we have arrival airport. Okay. And then we have the booking date. We have flight date. We have the flight time. We have the booking time. Okay. We have different airports over here, different arrival airport. And then we have the booking date. Okay. They can select the month, the year. They can select the date. Okay. And then the flight date, they can select the timing and everything. If you come over here, right, if you come over here, we have different scenarios that you're going to simulate. So for instance, maybe you want to simulate five different customers and the circumstances that you're going to based on to predict the pricing for them. Okay, let's say we have five or four different customers that are that are coming on your page to book a flight. Okay, so based on the circumstances around, for instance, the flight that they want to select their age, okay, the class that they want. Okay, so we have different different classes. If the customer select, if the customer selects, say so this one, which is BA2002, that's the flight number. Okay, and that is for British Airways. So you can see welcome to British Airways over here, and then the image of the I mean the airline is right there the users can select a different airline okay so maybe this one which is a 100 so that is American Airlines so you can see welcome to American Airlines and then the image of that okay I mean they can select whatever that they want this one is Emirates so you can see the airlines Emirates so now welcome to Emirates and then the image of that is there so it's very dynamic and then they can select age they can select the class whether they are going with economy business first class whether they are going with premium regular or discount okay and then the holiday right if there's a holiday or not so if there's a holiday the booking is going to spike if we do forecast right here right and then you come down you see there are some times that the booking is very very high i mean there's a spike over there showing that there was an event that people were booking a lot of flights based on all those circumstances which is why we're going to based on the events and circumstances surrounding the time the user is booking the flight to give them an accurate reflective price there will be different customers booking in different circumstances if there is no holiday events for instant it's likely there will be less booking so in that case we won't have a spike so you can see there are certain times that there's a low booking tenor okay in that case the pricing that we're going to predict for that person will be quite low okay as against when there's a spike so we are trying to maximize our revenue based on the circumstances around okay and what are the person is booking from online travel agent or mobile app okay and then some people also book in advance so you can see we have advanced booking days so depending on the days that they are booking to the price can be low or high if they are booking and say it's 30 days in advance or 60 days or higher maybe 90 days in advance then 90 days price is going to be lesser than if the person is booking it to go say tomorrow okay that price is going to be very high because of high demand so based on all those those circumstances circumstances we are predicting the price for them all right i mean the weather condition whether it's clear or it's rainy or snow or right or foggy or something like that and then the temperature right wind speed and then there's also economic conditions okay for instance the competitor price this one i'm showing you for instance is emirates right but if we take our competitor say american airlines okay maybe american airlines are being cheaper priced so based on that we can adjust our price so that our customer will not go for a different flight okay we'll stick with our flights or something like that 
we can give them a discount or something like that okay so all those are economic conditions the gdp of the current gdp the inflation and then unemployment rate and stuff like that so based on all of that we have different customers that we are simulating if i refresh the page now it's going to tell you to start scenario selection now based on the number of scenarios for instance if i select three scenarios meaning that i want to simulate three customers that are coming to my web page and then based on the circumstances i'm going to predict the pricing that i want to give to them this is a prediction model if you come to the code over here right let me go all the way up you see that we are using random forest over here and then we are using profit over here we use another model i'll tell you about it later on we're using that one to make the predictions okay so we build the machine learning model to make all those kind of predictions to be able to do the dynamic pricing optimization we need to do the predictions based on what the user is selecting okay okay so now let's click on start scenario selection okay so it's going to say that okay for customer one select data for scenario one so that's going to be for customer one so let's say let's say for customer one the person is flying for from say los angeles to hartsfield okay and then the person is booking the date in maybe may or something like that right and then over here maybe the flight that a person is using is an american airlines let's say the person is going with first class regular over here holiday let's say it's christmas time so that is a religious holiday and then the person is booking it from their mobile app and then the person is booking it 60 days in advance and then the weather condition let's say the weather is all right and then the temperature you can either select or just leave it to be like that and then the economic condition if you know the competitor price otherwise you can leave this one over here it will adjust it automatically for you the inflation rate the unemployment rate now once you're done with that then you can click on confirm scenario one now once you click on that now you see that customer one that you just simulated the data is right there now you can select data for scenario two which is going to be for customer two so let's quickly select the data for customer two and see let's say the person is from miami to let's say san francisco right i'm just doing this one as fast as i can let's say the person is 17 years the person is going with economy premium public holiday which is going to be say the labor day and then the person is booking it 30 days or 35 days in advance right it's quite rainy and then i'm going to confirm scenario two okay and then we can now do for scenario three so let's say this person is going from jfk to let's say logan and then if the person comes here the flight it could be the same flight or it could be a different flights and then the age let's say this person is 43 years old right and they're flying business class i'm going to do that and then let's say a snow time something like that all right now i'm going to confirm okay now once we've confirmed all of them then it's it's going to tell you to forecast so once you click on forecast now based on the data over here it's going to now forecast the price for each of these three customers so you can see some of them this one is paying 1065.2 dollars okay this one is paying 957.61 dollars okay and this one is paying 1009.34 so different customers different scenarios so we're giving them different price okay and then based on that day okay which is 24th of august we are going to have around 834 people booking on that day and this is the demand on that day based on all of that is why we're predicting this price for them okay which is this the flight date we are basing on that and then we see that we have advanced booking distribution those who book in say 0 to 20 days in advance okay 40 days in advance 60 days in advance 80 days in advance 100 days in advance okay you can see over here there's a quite a spike over here a lot of people book around 85 to 89 days in advance okay and that's based on the data that we have all right so i mean based on all of that is why we are predicting this okay and you can see the booking demand over time too there are certain seasons where we have a spike that is i mean a lot of people book at that time and then there are certain period to that the booking is very very low okay so maybe at this time they are booking to go for the summer holiday because around may something like that okay they are going for may june july august holidays there's a lot of bookings that are going on and after that you wouldn't really find much over there 
and then around November 2 that they are going to Christmas holiday you will see that there's also another spike over there and then after that you won't see that much maybe around this day where I mean that is the end of December they are booking to come back to their place so you can see there's also another high demand over there so this also gives you an idea you can zoom in higher and then you will see it very clearly and then if you see this one this is the demand forecast this one is giving you demand over time that is based on what our past data but if you want to forecast into the future this is where you use the profit model that's i'll show you when i'm walking you through the code we use this random forest to predict the price and everything then we use this profit model to forecast into the future okay this one initially i'm forecasting 60 days ahead so if you select 60 day forecast you can see down here how it is so for instance in october 31st 2023 on that particular day with all these circumstances selected we have about 11 people purchasing the ticket at that same time simultaneously so we have this demand at that moment over there so we can dynamically give different pricing to these users the data set is quite big but for the demo i'm using only 1000 records we have about 1 million records in there quite huge okay but for the demonstration i'm just using 1000 to show it to you later on i'll show you all of that so you see how robust is going to be okay i'm just using 1000 so that the code will run as fast as possible all right so this is really interesting it's going to help a lot of flights to be able to maximize their revenue based on the demand and also retain their customers because if you have all the variables of the customer then you'll be able to give them the right price at the right circumstance so i'm going to walk you through the code step by step how you can build this one and even make it more robust than what i've shown you so far